Okay, so here's a situation on the 4x4x5 that I didn't really go over and I was negligent in doing so. Um, as you recall in the tutorial, I had two that were out and it was easy enough to put them in because they were symmetric. But what about this situation where I've got two that are in and two that are out? Uh, now I put it in this position, but you may have it uh, kind of scrambled a little bit, like this is over here perhaps, and uh, you know, this is over here, whatever. So you see that uh, this is... Um, um, you want to put you want to put it back into place basically so you see that well we'll turn this over here and then uh, and then um, turn this over good yeah, I think so and then this turns over here all right so eventually you're gonna get into a situation where you have two that are in and two that are out and this appears to be a parity situation, and that's exactly what it is. And we'll, we'll deal with this in exactly the same way that we deal with parity situations. Uh, where this and this need to be switched, but in doing so, it's going to mess this one up. So, you know, you could think, well, I can go here, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And uh, that seems to put it back in place, but then these, these are messed up. So let's go back. One, two. Two, one, two, one, two, one. Ugh, ugh, one, two. Okay. So to deal with this, see the end of uh, part two of the tutorial, but we'll just demonstrate it here. You don't have to fix this now, but you can hold it over here and do that U R F kind of a thing. So because you're just switching one with the other, you just split it down um, from the one side, but you don't do over here. So that's two U, two R, two F. Then you just do it one time with a 2UU, you don't split it from up here. Then finish it up with a 2F, 2R, 2U, and finish with a 2F. Now you'll see that this puts this back in place, but remember, predictably, it created parity up here. To deal with this, this parity, you hold it here and do the same algorithm, but this time at the middle part, you do the 2U and the 2U up top here. So that's 2U, um, 2R. 2F, 2U, then split it up here, 2U, 2F, 2R, 2U, and you got it back. All parity is solved. So from here, you can continue with your domino strategy and continue with the rest of the solve. So that's how you can do it. Now, you don't have to fix that middle now. You can do it at the end, but if you want to place it in just for the sake of completeness, I wanted to demonstrate that. So, hope that helps.